we're going to be talking about poultices. Poultices are little packages you can make of vegetable matter that you would put on various ailments for various effects. And the first one I'm going to look at is the onion. And the onion is a drawer. I think most people are aware of that. If you have a room that's just been painted and has a strong odour, you can slice the onion up and put it on a plate and it'll absorb the odours out of the air. If you have a, a fridge that has a bad smell, number one, find out where it's coming from eliminate that but sometimes the smell can remain you can slice up an onion and put it in the fridge and it'll absorb those odors so it is fairly well acknowledged that the onion is a drawer you can use onion cooked or you can use it raw and the cooked onion in my knowledge is used for two main reasons one is for an earache and it was the first poultice that I ever did. The little old lady next door told me about it. And she said, you steam an onion. Now you either steam it or dry bake it because if you boil it, some of the healing properties in the onion will go into the water. So you, you usually do it. Now my helpers very efficiently took the skin and the end off, but you actually leave all that on because <laughs> that'll help to hold it together. And then when it's, when it's um, soft, you cut it in half and you cut it in half across ways. So you're now looking at the, at the rings. And what you can do is you can squeeze it, squeeze some of the juice from the steamed onion. It'll be boiling. And when it hits the spoon, it'll cool a little. And then you can put that into the ear and that can bring a bit of relief. And then you wrap up the onion in a cloth. Now you can use a cloth like this which is, looks like it's a cut up from an old sheet or you could use a hand towel or a tea towel. So you wrap it over a few times because remember it's boiling hot and when you get it to the right temperature, test it on your arm, then it can be placed on the ear and then you will put a little sheet of plastic over that which will keep the warmth in and then you could bandage it on the ear or you could put a little woolen beanie on to hold it there or some people might feel to sleep and they will lay, lay down on the ear. As long as you can keep it warm, you can keep it there. If it starts to get cold, then the ear will ache. Now this hot onion, the heat has an effect to relieve the pain because whenever you've got pain, you've got cramping muscles and moist heat relaxes cramping muscle. So that moist heat will do that. But also the onion being a drawer will draw. Now sometimes the onion will cause a little hole to be made in the eardrum. If the body makes the hole, not a problem. If you stick something in your eardrum and make a hole, you got a problem. But if the body makes it, and often when the hole is made, then the pus will come out and that can bring a lot of relief. But sometimes the onion will just reduce the inflammation to the point that the blood will, may, may take the pus away. Um, either way, it brings a lot of relief. Now, you might do an onion poultice on someone with an earache and they get a lot of relief. And then a few hours later, the pain comes up again, just do it again. You just keep doing it until there is no more ache. Sometimes one application is enough. Sometimes it needs to be done a couple of times a day for a few days. A friend of mine, she had to do it every day for a week. You know, whatever it takes, the body knows what it's doing. And if it brings relief, the body's saying, thank you, that's, that's what I want you to do. The other place that you can use a cooked onion is on a boil. A man rang me up and he said that he had boils coming on the inside of his nose, are very painful. And I said, well, it'll be a bit hard to put something on the inside of the nose, but I said you could steam up an onion and put it on the, on the outside. He thought that sounded like a bit of work until a few hours later, the whole side of his face swelled up so he steamed up in onion and put it on. 
and he said to me that it brought so much relief he was able to sleep and when he woke up he said the boil had burst and all the waste had come away. He said he has never got so much relief so quickly because a boil inside the nose as you can imagine is, is very painful. Most pain is due to inflammation so if you can get that inflammation down you can reduce the pain. So it can be used on a boil and it can be used on a earache. That's the cooked onion.